What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. This is a pick of where we left off. We have blown a pretty big hole in the Prussian lines and to be honest, they're on the way out. Uh, the end of the Prussian Empire is nigh, but first we must mop up this small garrison here at Strasbourg. So without further ado, let's take them out. The garrison is sufficiently weak, though I'll probably not worry about creating a breach and softening them up the way I normally do. Uh, my assault divisions can, or well, my assault, assault battalions, assault companies, can begin storming before the breach has been made. Most of the enemy troops are depleted of low quality and are also actually artillery units. So not a massive amount of uh, problems to be had, I think. So funny story uh, you guys will be seeing this episode I recorded this episode at the same time as I recorded my again for some reason some of the, these gun teams have come in with massive crews like these oh, like heavy artillery crew 263 men um, I actually recruited actually uh, recorded this episode during a well I loaded up my uh, game do some recording and what ended up happening was I accidentally recorded my Italian States 81 episode and just kind of chatted a lot chatted around chatted around it and then looked and realized it was completely the wrong one I tried to record I don't know why it didn't cross my mind I mean the Italians and the Ottomans are very different factions but I don't know I just clicked on it and I was like yeah you know what let's just play but enough of my jabbering we're going to carry on with my usual strategy. We've got a bunch of fuel artillery. I'm going to let my howitzers just roam free with the quick lime. So who is this? This artillery. Yeah, garrison mortars. They've deployed outside, which is lovely. My quick liming howitzers are having a great time against their sort of a great time against their artillery. I mean, they are... What we have to bear in mind is that we do have... Yeah, their AI is, is knackered. They are quick climbing the bejesus out of my troops. Is this Nizam infantry? Just run around. These Janissaries also run around. These Israelis knock out the mortars. And then these four troops, you storm the wall, you storm the wall, you storm the wall. These Janissary Grenadiers hunker down by the door, waiting for the response. Knock down the walls, please. Let's push out my other units just to make sure they don't get so left behind. It's only the Israeli unit that's down to assault. She might do some damage to some of my chips. Look at these, Jan these Janissaries to climb the wall as well. My Israeli and this Nizam unit can set up aim at the regiment of, regiment of horse. Let's bring my cavalry to there. You guys to form square. The artillery is still not engaging this section of the wall. How odd. 
So one of my units is routing, understandable. You guys drop into square, you guys also drop into square. Dinosaur is climbing the wall. Make sure all my men understand their orders are to assault the wall and take it into our service. If they're going to surrender sections of the wall, then I will happily run my rifles above it to secure it. So charging the Janissaries, or their militia, in the rear with my Janissaries, my other infantry, these Janissary Grenadiers, they're holding off a lot of line infantry here. Let's switch to round shot and begin to drop round shot into the center. So the main goal is to knock out the militia so that my swarming infantry can push further along the, the, the uh, further along the the wall. To charge these Janissary men in, my rifles can climb the gates, can climb the walls, so they can fire into the centre. These are horse grenade guards, so you can probably actually just form a regular line and shoot them. That will likely be the better decision try and run my Janissaries along. Yeah. So they've broken. So let's charge my Janissaries around the back. Obviously there's a gendarmerie unit that's charging one of my units, but the 69th should engage the Grenadier Guards. It looks like they have. My Janus unit got nearly wiped out. These men can climb the walls. To be honest, my Sapati can probably storm in because it looks like multiple gates are open to us. You men just continue to shoot the horse Grenadier Guards. going to fall. Hey! The militia's charged up to hit our rifles. We're actually doing okay. So let's see if these men turn to firewall off. The firewall on. There we go. Similarly, this unit can probably run in as my riflemen aim their rifles at the gendarmerie. If they're just going to leave the gates open, then... Just make sure none of my infantry are in any doubt. After they felled the militia. Hey, the riflemen are going to see off those militia. Line up our Nizam infantry into the center. It's going to be a great time engaging those horse grenadier guards. But it looks like we are going to be in a position to just open fire on the center with their general. And we we have gained supremacy on the walls. One man fell off the wall actually there. So much death and blood. As my men slowly trudge forward. Look, 
You men also get in here. Come on, Mr. Really. You men. That's right. Reload and just pour fire into the centre. My howitzers are still engaging. And I've got a bunch of cavalry sat back here, not doing anything, but I'd rather kill these men in the crossfire. And so they go. They've broken. Let's end the battle there. I accidentally almost clicked on continue. But well, there we go. We have captured Strasbourg and the southern flank of the Prussian front line is dangerously exposed. So let's rebuild the fort. Let's replenish our men. We, it looks like we are actually some troops down. You got smashed in the fight for Stuttgart. What I need to do? I need to be a bit more... I need to be a bit more clear about how my reinforcing armies aren't true armies. And I think the way to get around that is to probably not have generals leading them. But if I get a general in leading them, I can go, you know, okay, let's pick up some Sapahi, let's pick up some artillery. Pretty much try and get a bit of everything. Except for units that are so specialised they're going to be recruited a mile away. But try and get some, you know, Janissary Musketeers. Try and get some Nizam. Try and get some infantry. You know, try and get some of everything. You guys, I need, grenad I need grenadiers, really. So this force here, Hafiz Fuad. He has no movement points. Neither do these chaps. Does Strasbourg have university? It does not. Let's upgrade the buildings, upgrade the roads. And that reminds me, I probably want to upgrade some of these roads down here in Italy. And let's do some economy upgrades. This will likely not help our intention to get uh, Rome to be free of, of um, troops to allow us to expand. Because when you build a wine estate, it increases unhappiness. Okay, we've got two. We've got one agent here who's going to proselyt who's going to um, convert the northern Italian kingdoms. I've got my rifles. I've got you. So let's pull two Israeli out and join Istani Rifat and push up some rifles. This force here at Lombardy, you can also lose a unit of Janissaries and a unit of Nizam. Go join Asani Rifat and pick up these last two riflemen. Let's upgrade the Naval College. Okay, good. I think I need to make sure I keep building my uh, church schools, religious buildings because I'm actually running a bit short of them on the front line. When I take Cologne, like this army needs, needs reinforcement. It probably needs a unit of cavalry, which is... Some cavalry is being recruited here. There we go. You men, to Istanbul. And then out the other side of Istanbul. You men, work your way up to the front line. Keep our infrastructure clean and upgraded to ensure that my men can get up to the front line in quick order. We will have to fight in northern Italy, but I want to keep my keep the bulk of my attention on the uh, northern front, or well, the European theatre. Let's upgrade these military buildings in Sweden. We've got rid of. Uh, the university, so let's replace it with a madrasa. They will likely not let us get away with it, but let's keep upgrading it anyway. Let's see, these men need to replenish. These guys have limited movement points. It might even be worth... I don't like knocking down, knocking down um, civil uh, industrial buildings, but I might have to there. You men, 
regard Marseille, I need to send... Actually, no, I meant to send this Marseille fleet down to here. Because... The, the, the Prussian fleet's left. Left the Med, and if I drop them off here, then that means we do not have any problems with them. It means that we keep them out of the town for good. So the Iroquois down there still... How is their, how is their diplomacy looking? They're still allies with Britain. They might abandon the alliance, actually. Yeah, let's, let's, let's finally do it. Britain did not join them. Demand the surrender of the territory. Well, I'm not going to fight that. The water is all that. We lost 100 men. Destroy the Council of Elders. Finally brought Patras into the fold. Let's destroy the village longhouse. You men can replenish it, then they can be ready to be on their way to probably land and hit southern southern uh, southern France. Because we are also at war with Spain. Oh, actually, they might be a good candidate. Well, no. Rome's going to go hit Sardinia. How are things going with New Spain? We're trading with New Spain, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Pity, but the number of nations in the world is growing smaller. But I think what I'm probably going to do, yeah, Corinth is being destroyed, is likely hit end turn, let everyone get some replenishment done. Britain demands an alliance, and they demand I give them power loom, they're going to offer me 21 grand. No. I have no need of your 21,000. My men are continuing the drive westward. Soon, Britain, you will join them in the smoking ruins. Prussia's now been relegated, relegated to uh, just two, just two territories. So my intention was to try and keep the Prussians bottled. Well, not bottled up. Just keep them out of the med. It's probably worthwhile recruiting more ships to maintain my strength if they engage me in a massive battle and we lose a lot of our fighting ability. Looks like they are sending their gentlemen to the wrong school. They are sending it to an Iron Master's Forge. Can't steal any of my technologies there, you dumb dumb. Okay, then we're going to pull back because these this army needs to retreat needs to uh, replenish. Devil Sided River Battle? I don't think so. Ooh, here comes the Swedes. They're going to be in a bit of a pickle. They only have uh, the Netherlands and... Not Netherlands. The Denmark and Norway remaining. They don't have the strength to push onto the capital. We're about to put Denmark. Oh no, they own um, Lisbon. Forgot all about that. Got to keep an eye on the Mughals. They are... They're not a concern, but they are massing a serious amount of firepower. And when I conquer Europe, I'm likely going to need to split my armies in half, send some towards India, some towards America. So... Enemy raid in the mines, that's fine. Just keep sending them south. Okay, you upgrade the logging camp, upgrade your industrial mining complex. You men move south, but continue to replenish because you're not fully replenished. Corlin still has religious unrest. Let's upgrade the forge. Some of my armies, replenishment might take a bit of time. These chaps put Copenhagen under siege for now. Meaning there might be an argument to... Uh, there might be an argument to destroy it. Or to, or to assault it immediately. Let's keep picking up some ship upgrades in case my armies are destroyed. 
no interest in pushing forward yet on this front. Um, I'm happy to send these two armies to take these two territories, drop a second army so I can engage both of these annoying little stacks at the same time. Then one can push to take Morocco, one can land into Spain. So here you're replenishing. You are in good shape though. Where are you? Where's a you? Well, this one that's in good shape may push towards Paris. So could you to a madrasa. To be honest, there's going to be a few little uh, annoying battles we have to fight to make our way through the front line. So if I, if I fight you, will that draw the garrison into action? Potentially not. If I take this army and do this. Nah, they're not within range. Um, okay, the best way to do this. Can this army leave Hanover? Not really, without fiddling with attacks. Okay, well this force is going to march west and smash into these these troops and destroy them because we need to start to uh, clear out some of these entrenched troops right now they are barring progress and granted we can't take as much progress we can't take advantage of it as much as we would like because we don't have uh, fully replenished armies but we can still be making that progress we can still be pushing away these smaller units So we're going to be on an offensive, or well, we're going to be fighting an offensive battle here. I'm foreseeing the Swedes coming in from over here somewhere. So let's create a reasonable line to push forward and hit the Prussians, but also keep some men probably pushed over onto our left with a bit of cavalry support. My melee infantry can push up with my main line and act as a slower unit of cavalry. Oh, actually, they're, they are all over the place. Okay, so you men push up quickly. That's another Prussian army, which means the Swedes are over here. So my cavalry push up to threaten those men there. General bodyguard shift over to here. Melee infantry position just to withstand any cavalry that might come towards us. My Mamelukes are more than able to snipe that regiment of foot. My Mamluk guards can push up, ready to hit the Royal Infantry sharpshooters. Some quick line will make short work of this regiment of foot. Okay, let's do a bit of... Push my melee infantry back. Reform our infantry line. Push our melee infantry out to the flank. Still mainly focused on winning over here. So let's put these guys spread out to go fight the sharpshooters, although they will likely not be needed because they're about to wipe out full artillery unit which we are going to chase down these men can charge into the back of the light infantry howitzers aren't doing what we need them to do you guys drop into square 
horse guards coming in. Can you men run up here to threaten the Freud Corps? In which case the new guys can also abandon fighting the light infantry. The Mamelu guards are going to win against the light cavalry sharpshooters. Quick climbing, quick climbing the wrong things. Let's get them to start engaging. I can't get them to start engaging. The Swiss coming in. You men stay in square. Kill some, kill most of it. Well, you could kill all the sharpshooters. I'm not going to bother chasing down the cavalry. That's for damn sure. The artillery can focus on the 1st Regiment. Curassiers are likely to fail soon. The General's been killed somewhere, or a General's been killed. And there he goes, get these men back into line. General. See, my they're still shooting at that one unit of sharpshooters and successfully making my Mamelukes upset. From Quickline, they're still firing. There's no one over there. They're dead. Push my Janissaries up onto the flank. Okay, now let's really start to push up and curl the flank around into the flank, into their, the enemy flank. The artillery can try and get into position, the howitzers can try get into a better position. My melee infantry. Let's run it around the rear of their line. Curl in my infantry. Yeah, these might be marines, and marines might be very good, but even not so good infantry firing down the flank is going to do a lot of damage to you guys, especially as you aren't firing by rank. You poor souls. I'm still reloading. Can it send? Chaps over to hit the enemy cavalry with enemy artillery to the rear. Let's bring my general around as well. Six pounder horse artillery is limbered up. They're going to book it. Surrounded they are. So where's my Mamelukes? Okay. Let's get them into the right place. Yeah, there go the Marines. They've been cracked. My Mamelukes are likely to have fun with them. General can have the Grenadier Guard. So my Mamelukes want the Marines, but it looks like a lot of them are going to get cut down running through my men. To be honest, it looks like the remaining Swedes are about to be uh, completely surrounded there is no way you can move every direction you go you will suffer the wrath see one of the gun teams is going to get away 
but that's okay. It's only one unit of horse artillery. There we go. That's everyone versus that line of that, infant, that foot guard unit. Not everyone. This unit of Royal Jastry Guards can't get anyone. Well. We're going to continue. I'm bringing in my Mamelukes. And let's speed up time. Learn from your enemies. You cannot win victory through fighting against the mighty Ottoman Empire. Okay, these two units should... No, I was going to say, they should be able to get these guys. Not that close. Nope. Duh. But that's opened up the northern plains of the Netherlands and northwest Germany. Dead. Pushed back. Pushed back. Good stuff. They took some losses. We could even put. We could put Amsterdam under siege because we've got quite good coverage of this side of the river. So this army under Yashi Darnat, Darnat, put Amsterdam under siege. They need to replenish. So it's, they're not going to assault it directly yet. But where else do I put under siege? Copenhagen. Let's go and take the city. I don't want to demand surrender because I don't want this army to teleport up to Christiana. So let's go and destroy another great Swedish city crush it under the boot of the Ottoman war machine as we drive from east to west growing from strength to strength the Mughals are the only people that could afford to stop us now but I think we've got enough troops to hold them up in Prussia and in over in India if they in intend to fight um, if they intend to fight and try and attack our lines we'll definitely be able to hold them off if nothing else until we get into a good position with these armies to then swing them around and attack their homelands so I've put my, my heavy sepahis on the left push up on the right sorry put my daddy horseman on fire it will no turn off on the right on the left as well Put my Nizam and my hand mortars, my Nizam light infantry and my hand mortars on the right. General in the centre, artillery is all back here, they're just going to fire. Everybody. Engage. Horse Grenadier Guards, they're not the best thing to send Sipahi against. Because they are relatively capable. They're frustrating more than anything, let's say that. Advance my Delhi horsemen. Start engaging with my how it says everyone I don't like. Charge my Sapahi into these line infantry units. Steady horsemen charge into the flank of these dragoons. These janissaries charge into the garrison line. My cavalry smashes in like a wave into these other units. He's 
kinsmen are going to fell some of my janissaries. At great cost. Let's take this infantry. Push them up pretty aggressively. My infantry are... Well, my cavalry are fixing them. But let's take the bulk of my infantry and pivot left. Okay, my Janissary's crashed into this unit of garrison line. They are too much. Slaughter these expats from the front. The militia broken. Charge into the flank of the garrison line. Probably means you guys want to pivot and face the town, which you're about to get shot at by Grenadier Guards. Push my hand mortars through the town. Maybe the expat infantry have also fallen. Bloody horsemen. Ooh, good job that was a bit of a misfire. Everyone else push on. Switch my artillery to round shot. Begin dropping it on the infantry in the town. Push the Sapati through. My rifles have got left behind somewhere. Oh no, they're just not in a great position. Go secure that house. Hello. Some of the militia came back. Folks of Howitz is on this flank. We're still swarming through this, the flank, this flank, pretty damn well. Hit the armed citizenry, pivot. These men. Really, everyone is... battle has been won through assault. These units crash in. Okay, those guys aren't going to be hand mortars aren't going to be super useful. Hold the artillery fire. Target my Janissaries to go charge that unit of militia and that Sipahi. Go do the same thing. There we go. Even the mighty Grenadiers fell before our might. The Daily Horsemen are kind of come in and smash the militia, not even in formation. They are getting into formation, but they're going to be fixed in position by my Delhi infantry. Imagine that, you get hit by cavalry, you turn and run, there's a bunch of angry lands with swords coming right at you. In they come. And that bit of frame rate thing was me pressing and holding N and also strafing forward, <laughs> pressing a W. To try and move my men, my move my screen forward. Yeah, they've been obliterated. Well, there we go. Copenhagen has been captured for our forces. The gateway to the Baltic is commanded by an Ottoman force. So let's demolish this university. Let's rebuild the ports. Let's build you into a craft workshop. Actually, let's build you into a madrasa because we can get that done quicker. Replenish our buildings. Build a fortification. Replenish the troops. Good. So we're starting to push Sweden out of Sweden. Let's repair this dockyard. You still need to replenish. Everyone's still growing, everyone who's everyone's generally Protestant, but they're all becoming Islamic. 
Let's check our objectives or our things. Top tier military buildings. Iron Masters Forge. St. Petersburg. I don't really need to do this, but... Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, new port. Okay, you can now build a... Actually, no, build a... Light galley. To occupy both these buildings. You can build into a dry dock, even though it's not necessarily needed. Your roads are being upgraded, as are yours. That's a lot of buildings built. Build a Jebek to hold it. Build here. Build actually let's build um two. Lombardi has an iron workshop. Milan has got cobbled roads, but now we can get metal roads. Keep upgrading to top tier industry. We are okay. Now, now we're starting to run out of money. Tunis has got a lot of upgrading. Small madrasa in central Italy. Upgrade this to a large madrasa. Because I would like these guys to leave the city. Minus four. But does that become minus two? Okay. A few more. A few more recruitment of Semini will do it. This unit of Semini can go occupy Taranto. Let's upgrade that pleasure building there. Let's take Topoldana minus the sloop around to Rome. Pick up his army or this army. Sail to Cagliari. A full Swedish conting Spanish contingent is waiting along the city, although it is just... Yeah, put the city under siege. This navy can sail up and sit in Marseille. Upgrade you to a commercial basin. They're raiding our trade, but they are more than welcome to do that. Bavaria, the workers on strike, but now they've chilled out, or well, their industrialization is going to go up quite a bit. I could probably stand to move this imam out because we do have a good madrasa in there. So, where don't we have a madrasa that we're not building one? Hanover's being converted. Uh, Austria's got one. Strasbourg's about to get one. Maybe down in, in Italy. So we've got an agent in Naples. Let's get an agent in Genoa. This agent in Rome itself, who's very good. March on to Savoy. Because at least when you've got a... Uh, a um, Ah, madrasa. It does, you know, it constantly ticks upwards, so it's okay. You don't have to have a. You don't. There's no. There's no need to double up if they're sufficiently behind the lines, and you're happy they are going to keep expanding. But we need to occasionally check. Kiev doesn't have a madrasa, but we need to check our territories. Really, so if I do this, so some of our territories aren't actually entirely Islam. Or growing. Archangelsk is still, still going up. Some of them we did make the decision we don't need. Madrasa. Obviously the ones that aren't going up don't have a madrasa in them. Hey, who can tax you, good sir? Okay, let's just do a tax run. I think trying to optimise all my buildings to only be only to have religious buildings in there we go only to have religious buildings in uh, the right towns would get a bit ponderous there we go Transylvania there we go cool that will probably do. Dents, we're going to knock down. Skopchi is going to finish researching. Top Gallants, Comanche, you can probably be demolished. Um, because you're not providing a useful service. 
And once um, this modern university has researched top gallants, the only thing they can research is percussion shells, and they're going to do it much faster than Comanche. So let's do that. Lots of good recruitment. That's a great infrastructure. Actually, what did you need again? Oh, you lost a grand air unit, didn't you? Gordon. Uh, yes, this is our reinforcement reinforcing army. Get two of those, get two Do some uh, two Don't know, dervishes. Get two second band riflemen and another unit of riflemen. I'm hoping if I can keep them in pairs, it will look clearly like a reinforcing army. We're not bothered about them up there. I'm happy to keep the Netherlands under siege. You aren't ready. These guys could be an annoyance. So let's go and take this force that likely needs cavalry. Oh, I might just auto them. I don't think it will impact the army on the bridge too much. God damn, maybe it did. Uh, actually, no. Not that bad. What was tempting to do is to send this guy on a long shot towards Paris and give him some support. Because these armies can ho help hold Strasbourg, and when Strasbourg's brought under, the, brought under the heel, we can push south and start to clear out these armies. We've also got the question of Turin. But to be honest, it looks like it might not be a problem. And you could even... No, Cologne, this would be quite a big battle here, because you'll have Swedes, Prussians and Danes involved on the front line. I'd like to get one more... Yeah, we've got Denmark. Yeah, get rid of the university. We'll sort us out. Now these four rates can join up with that force. Can't recruit anything. We've got no uh, easy to steal ships from, so let's hit end turn. Yeah, my priests and my spies are on their way to Paris. Britain should be feeling mighty uncomfortable about now. Spain as well. <laughs> Frantically calling the gentleman home. Ooh, I don't want to fight a naval fight. So don't like naval fights. Boom. Lost four ships. Claim one of their heavy firsts. I don't mind fighting naval battles so much early on when it matters, but right now when I've got so much firepower, I'm more than happy to let them attempt to do things and then just rely on good old auto resolve. Oh no, naval battles are not my forte. So there go the Prussian dogs. They're falling back to Paris because they know I'm I'm on my way. Uh, opportunity to intercept? No. That's a that's a lot of men that'll be entering the field at the same time. No. If you're hoping to get around to my schools, chances are you will be far too late. And uh, we will have researched everything there is to know in the entirety of known history. Don't worry, Savoy. Your time will come. It will likely be a, fo a fight outside of the city. And uh, a lot of offensive action to push men forward. Yeah, the Mughals are coming in. Try to steal my tech. Danes are also on their way to try and attempt a similar sort of thing. <laughs> Peace treaty? No. You want to take us out? 
have to do it the old fashioned way. So my force that's that's workers on strike. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm getting them from tax. And build. Some Semenes and some Azars. New town emerges. Florence. Well, you know what, Florence? You can be a coffee house. It's quite a fortuitous result, actually. New port emerges. A Narba in Algiers. Here, have a trading port. And we can also get ready to build Muslim to occupy it. And let's upgrade some of these buildings here. There's a lot of building done here. Just keep just keep upgrading. We've got so much money we may as well just keep upgrading these um, buildings behind the front line. Like you, you can also resolve that army up there. Ooh. Kevin Hagen's been brought to heal. Continue to Madrasa, upgrade the port, get the ships in dock. Upgrade what's necessary, upgrade you to a dry dock with a bomb catch inside. Also go back to this naval hospital, because we will likely want to pick up some ships to supply this force. To be honest, you might even want to just pull back completely. That fleet can't do any damage. You guys put about to get some repairs. This arm here is now ready. Could sell them around to hit Norway. But let's carry on with the building browser. And here we've done southern Sweden. Some top tier buildings. Keep in my mind, wine estates, good stuff. Getting some lower level port upgrades clearances we've already done the upgraded stuff in Tunis we've also upgraded all the buildings in Rome Ironmasters work, Central Italy, yeah we've done that done the wineries ah, all this stuff from all this stuff for as a, as a, that was left as a holdover from the uh, Native Americans. Okay, let's take a Krujebek. We can send that, send them forward to probably declare on New Spain. And Pylos and Morea. Let's upgrade to that as well. Letter of demands from Denmark. Yeah, not anymore. Workers on strike in Denmark. Again, not anymore. Lots of good spying. And Yashi Yahudi, his path has been blocked. And I need to quickly adjust a blind because the sun has moved and it's now blinding me. There we go. Okay. So because we've got Amsterdam pretty comprehensively under siege, there is an entire Danish force in Denmark, so I might push these guys forward to protect the sieging forces and then also push these guys towards Yashi Yahudi to give them reinforcements. You men are fully replenished. I mean, Paris doesn't even have any damn walls on it. I mean, this is... This is going to be brutal, like, look! <laughs> that's just... We've just punched through the Württemberg border, and then that's it. We, we, we are in and amongst them. Um, okay, let's probably take out Brussels in this fight. Nice, this spy. You go down to Madrid. I don't think I keep a spy here as well. Go onward to Lisbon. They're not as likely to, to uh, infiltrate. Well, my agents can't go anywhere because they're under siege. But if we take, well, if we take this, then all these Denmark forces disappear. Well, that would be quite neat to actually fight a large, like coalition-y type battle. 
Lots of good recruitment. Good. Uh, hmm. So that's a proper siege with a good amount of troops in there. I want to fight that. This would be good to fight, but I also want to kind of fight around here. All my forces are generally quite weak, and there's a lot of troops would come onto the field at once. Aha, we also knock down this. Upgrade you to a craft workshop. So this army that's recruited in Esfahan move down to the port and let's start to work up another. The idea being to have a few forces here stood by waiting just in case. And let's probably build a bunch of fifth rates to help facilitate the transport of troops and dumping them down onto the coast here. But which... I'm going to hit end turn. I can't decide which to fight. Oh, I could fight these Spanish down here in Cagliari. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's fight that. I've got four minutes. Let's fight this. Then we will let the end turn carry on ticking. And we will see if they attempt to... Uh, if they intercept us. If they do not intercept us, then we will... Probably attack Amsterdam first. Because that'll be a proper siege. It's got a good amount of troops, good amount of elite troops in a major town or a major settlement that will be valuable for us to capture. Well, this is pretty neat terrain. But because they are significantly under strength, deploy my artillery high to fire at long range with round shot, form a great line, Still got camels. Put my melee troops to go to go through the town to clear that out. General in the centre. Well, look, they've got nothing. A regiment of horse on the flank, which will do square root of nothing but let's still run a cavalry unit over here just in case they're all going to do a suicide charge by the looks of it well these this regiment of horses more than happy to let them charge me Cavalry. Meh. Let's get my troops. Go hit the Dragoons. No, you men hit the regiment of more. Hit the more. Hit the, the artillery regiment. You guys pivot like so. But just be careful of the defences. We will lose Mamelukes to it. But I'm I'm open to it. Without without a commander, this might actually be the general. Bashi Bazook saw off a cavalry unit entirely by themselves. Push my cavalry through. Slaughter in the centre is, is going to be significant and immeasurable because the, the garrison is made up 
almost exclusively of depleted depleted uh, militia units. Artillery up here isn't even firing anymore. Turn all your guns onto the general. Watch the shells go in. There they go. Didn't kill a single one. <laughs> Didn't kill a single member of the general staff. There, yeah, you charge on and hit the militia. Charge these men on to hit the carabiners. Terrain starting to bottleneck my deployment. To be honest, you guys just charge the general. No, it's because my artillery is not even attacking the general, I see. Yeah, my Bashi Bazook's going to tear the militia a new one. And these are elite Bashi Bazooks as well. Experience five. Slaughter them, leave none alive. General's been killed. Okay, let's stop all our artillery. You men all engage the carabiners. There they go. No skill, no nothing. There's a certain amount of. Well. Sometimes it just doesn't matter <laughs> if you've not got the, the skill when their force is low-quality troops in low numbers. Sudden here is ours. Here comes our French Knight Cavalry. They demand an alliance quickline. They don't have quickline. That's good to know. I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not going to give you quickline for the Windward Islands. I'm going to take your islands, Britain. They're mine. Yoink, I believe is the technical term. But nevertheless, these are the terms that matter now. The Prussians are pulling back from Cologne. Where do you expect to help? Wherever they pull that stack away from is where the hammer is going to fall next. Opportunity to intercept. We are not at full strength. But I'm tempted to do it because actually, well, because that full stack's pulled away, this is a lot more achievable now. And it'll be interesting to see a battle, battlefield that's got Prussians and Danes and Swedes, whatever this contingent may be, um, in one spot. So I think I might call the episode there. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the probable destruction of all of these forces around Cologne. And that will really blow the flank open. Radio. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed.